so let's go ahead and do a quick video tour of the new ship. Let me make sure I put that to it on my headset so I don't drown you out with the storms. All right, so there's two of these on the front, well, off the side of the cockpit, one off either side. It's more like a true Zeppelin where the first floor or what hangs below isn't really like for people to hang out in. It's more for work. And usually in a Zeppelin, like the, uh, if there were passengers, the passengers would be up inside the balloon. So we can't build inside the balloon. So instead, I just made a floor up top that will act as the inside of the balloon. So, when you first come to the ship, you enter in here. Here's the cockpit. And let's go ahead and drag this thing back in. Alright, let's go inside. Here's the cockpit. There's two do one other door on the other side going out that way. And then this thing will be up front. And like I said, I always have the radar on the glass in front of me so if you look straight ahead I can still have clear view and all I do is just glance up a little I can still see where I'm going and look at the radar at the same time and it's just a very small glance up I have it about halfway a little bit more to the front than halfway and then centered and then that is like I don't know about even with this this line here Look for us. And that, I mean, granted that line is only there because this is painted, uh, what is it, silver, I think? Is it silver or chrome? I think it's the, ch the chrome that has these metal panels. So this line, you'd have to figure that out without, well, you can pretty much figure it out. It's from that corner, diagonally up, and then straight across. And then the top of that should be about even. And then when you sit in here, all you do is just look up ever so slightly. And you can still see clearly on either direction. And I can turn around and see everything behind me. The engine room is actually hidden behind that door. You can't even see it. Alright. So, then there's the, the ladder room. Which, this is all metal. Like I said, for role play reasons, this is the structural support for the cockpit and this glass balcony area. So we got a glass balcony area on the second floor above the cockpit. And a lookout up there, enclosed lookout up there. So down here is like your lookout for when you want to be outside and it's nice and sunny outside. But if you want to see around when it's in, when it's storming, then there's your enclosed lookout above us. So again, th so this is the second floor, and then we go back to our steel steel enclosed ladder room for structural support, and then we go up to the living quarter room area. So this room is like uh, for crafting and everything, and you can go out the front, and here's the the lookout area and because this is more of a like crafting maintenance room we do have the ladders that go up either side to the blimps I mean the balloons so it's a th it is a three balloon wide full maxed out three balloons and there's two ladders, one on that side, one on this side. And one ladder there and one ladder over there. I'm not done with this room yet. There's obviously a lot of blank space over here. I only just started filling stuff up in here. I need to this came from the Enterprise build, so I need still need to put all my furniture out. So then we go back and we have two smaller rooms. These are only two wide. And this is for the laboratory and the kitchen. And then the, these four rooms in the back, they're three wide with a window corner. So these are going to be the bedrooms. Four bedrooms. 
for when we get to four player co-op each person has their own room four bedrooms all the more three by threes with the window corner and the windows these ones have two windows with the windows corners because they're facing back where these ones only have one window with the window corner because there is another room there so I couldn't put another window on that side and then so this leads back down to engineering what I call engineering which is the uh, sorry which is the warp core slash turbines and engine room and there's a this is the second floor so it's just a little pathway to get down to the next floor and then we go down one more floor and this is the back end of the ship so this is behind engineering and we can go through engineering walk all the way through and all the way oh, I have to open this door okay we can walk through and all the way around access our engines from here all four engines can be accessed from here with walking underneath and having plenty of room to get to these back doors there's two back doors one on either side and you go through here and this is the front of engineering so when you want to inspect the warp core from safety from the outside you can look in and then there's the catwalk going to the to the flight deck slash cockpit and I did this little like indent area before you go inside and this is the cat catwalk with all interior metal floors and we go right back so here's the ladder room again that goes back upstairs and here's our cockpit and there's your full tour of the I'll call this the Zeppelin build I still again I still need to put all my furniture out because I packed everything away this was built by tearing down the Star Trek ship don't worry I still have the Star Trek ship I just copied that save file renamed it so this one save one the Star Trek Trek build is save two and it still exists the ship is still there and then that's why the cockpit is even still similar to the Star Trek one and this is all the same cockpit from the Star Trek ship I never I didn't even touch it it's the same as that cockpit from that ship I just deleted everything else like the uh, where the old engineering section of the Star Trek ship was then I redid the the saucer section so that's still the saucer section just shrunk down and then elongated So I still need to put all my furniture out and redecorate it, but, and then I also have the, uh, the Borg cube save. So I still have them all. Uh, let's go ahead and save and quit. And play. So there's the Zeppelin and there's the Star Trek ship and there's the Borg cube. Do a little quick tour of the Borg Cube. Surprisingly, this thing is pretty easy to fly around. I'm surprised it's not not worse. Come on, load it. Some the bigger your ship gets, the harder it is to uh, longer it takes to load stuff. Uh, that was a little laggy 
But yeah, th this is still here. The Borg Cube is still here. One thing I like about the Borg Cube is having all the balloons inside. And you can see these are real rooms here, hence the frame around just those. What's outside that area is not real rooms. So this is a real room, the laboratory. And then this would be like a garden area for the laboratory. And you got glass roof looking up to the, bal the balloons. So this is an outside area, so this would be a good uh, indoor garden for the laboratory. And the other side is the kitchen. And the same thing, we have an indoor, outdoor, fake room for having a garden for growing stuff for food. And then we go back, and here's our maintenance slash crafting area. And then we have a door over here and here. These are two bedrooms. And there's two more bedrooms on this side. Two more bedrooms. And then this middle door is our engineering section, which has the four engines and the four turbines. I know I don't need four turbines, but symmetric, uh, I like to have things even, symmetrical. So I have four, even though I don't need four. Two on this side, two on that side, two engines there, two engines there. And then all the balloons are inside the blimp. I'm inside the cube. Though I do have the back of the balloons sticking out the back. So we on either side, that side or this side, there is a stairwell, a ladder well going all the way up. And you can access the top here for this section. Oops. So there's a stairwell going up either both sides of the cube to give you roof access and to be able to get to the. Uh, yeah, see. Here's another catwalk in the middle for where the second set of balloons connect to. And you see, and actually, this this catwalk you can get out onto, and if you're careful, you can squeeze past the balloons and walk across that roof. Hence how I painted everything. Everything is painted. I just walked out here, and then I jumped down on top of the balloons from there, and jump around the balloons and paint everything. And we can keep going up. Keep going up. Am I? No, I am not at the top yet. So this is the very top of the inside. And then we go to the roof. Oh no, I wasn't at the very top. Here is the very top. So I could have done one more catwalk going across there too if I wanted, but that's just wasting weight. Up here I have my extractors. They are my phaser banks. I role play them as the phaser blanks. And it's just all nice and smooth and open up here. And the only place there are metal frames is just where the ladders come up. That's it. And like I said, the balloons stick out the back. But you'll never see that when you're flying around unless somebody was out, unless there was multiple balloons and somebody was able to fly behind you. You would never see this. Or you'd have to land the ship in a way to, to allow yourself to see it. But to me, it kind of looks like boosters sticking off the back of the ship. Kind of. 
if you use your imagination. Again, I use these extractors as if they to act like roleplay phasers. These are the weapons to fight off the Federation. And, and there we are. Of course, I have my cheat program running, so let's take a flight. Whee! And down I go. Yeah, uh, I wouldn't run this ship without the cheats turned on, because I wouldn't want to know how much damage this thing would take during a th thunderstorm if I didn't have the cheats turned on. This thing would probably be all on fire right right now if I was in a thunderstorm. Uh, there's my ship. And you have a pretty good view. Not the greatest, I mean... But you have a pretty good view out the front. I leave that front door open so I can see. And... I can fly it just like this. No problem. Okay, save and quit that, and video over. Have fun, guys.